it's in Jabba as a, as a town as a, many people overseas. Uh, are you sure those people in America alone will be able to reach the need of the people? Or are you doing anything to make sure you contact some of your brothers and sisters abroad? Well, uh, it's difficult to express exactly how people in other countries uh, are organized. But um, during the meeting uh, that uh, we had in Florida this year, we decided that individuals who have relatives in other countries like Britain and Germany should contact, okay, should contact their relatives to tell them that something of this nature is going on in North America, that we have sent home so so, so, and so amount of money and to see if they could initiate such organization and be able to raise some fund in order to help the schools at home. Yeah, um, uh, for now, what will you say as the president of this organization that has been your achievement so far? Well, my achievement so far has been concentrated on raising this amount that I told you. We were able to raise $3,000 in our first meeting which we sent to in 2003 to be able to refurnish the stools, chairs, shelves, and the tables in the two secondary schools. Ever since then, we've been contributing money and we're able to send home one million naira. And one million naira is up to the tune of $7,500. And that is just through the sole effort of the members of yeah, and uh, through, through your deliberation in the meeting, I was told that you still have another extra school and uh, I'm what they call uh, Matamamis. Uh, what do you think you can do about that? Yeah, definitely. We were told about this school. Some of us didn't know about the school because it's fairly a new school. It's a conventional school. And uh, we have decided that we will accommodate the school in, in as much as it is in the Sunja. We have made proposals and contributions to send up some money to make the school as happy as the ones we have already sponsored. Thank you, Dr. Jafar. God bless you. Okay, okay. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, please mind your name. Yeah, uh, Uche, in here, may, uh, I learned that uh, the Sun Java people in North America is uh, having a meeting here today in uh, Miami, Florida. Uh, what's going to be your achievement? I start from the inception. Uh, what do you think is going to be your achievement? What is going to be the goal of this association? Uh, well, I wouldn't call it my achievement per se because as you know, this is a collective effort. But um, my role as a secretary, I've been trying to pretty much coordinate um, the affairs of the association as a whole. So I try to make sure that whatever policies are developed are circulated to every member. The necessary communication so that people understand what it's all about. Um, and if we succeed in accomplishing some of our goals, um, I would also perhaps say that is also my accomplishment uh, directly or indirectly. Yeah, like uh, you people have discussed earlier that uh, you have a lot of Eastern Java people in North America and uh, they're not forthcoming as a secretary. What efforts are you trying to build to make sure you make these people come together? Uh, that's a good question. Um, uh, I 
I have to start by saying that the association is uh, the membership in the association is voluntary, and uh, what that means, of course, is that uh, people come, people who belong to it, they want to, and the extent of their participation again is also voluntary. Um, we are hoping that at any point in time, you have enough people who show enough interest so that the association will remain viable. Now, if we just take it to the stage where we don't have enough people showing enough interest, then I think the association may have to be a strategy to that to interest and awareness of whatever else the mind is coming up with. But the group, what I do, we need to have as many members as possible to continue to show active interest in terms of financial contributions and also uh, showing up for other communities or reunions because the reunions are important in that that's where policies are developed and the more people you have uh, the likelihood that they're going to develop uh, better and more effective policies. Yeah, uh, Dr. Uche, um, earlier this afternoon I've uh, interviewed your, your president, Dr. John Four, and uh, I also asked you the same question as you regards to Isun Java people abroad. Are, are you sure those in America alone be able to reach the demand of the people at home? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. As a matter of fact, I don't think the idea was ever to meet all the demands from people at home. I mean, I don't have to be sure the entire government of Nigeria can do it. I mean, what, what we are basically trying to do is to, um, you know, of some projects that we think we'll be able to handle with some effort to be able to complete such a project. And I'm sure that the other projects and other associations may also want to pick up and also do it. And uh, the, the, the idea is not to try to satisfy all their demands, but to at least uh, show some interest, to show that we care uh, in whatever little way we can. Thank you very much, Dr. Uche. Welcome. And God bless you. Anytime.
corruption and killing of children, we still have a lot to be proud of. We did. From me and my family, ladies and gentlemen, we wholeheartedly thank you for everything. May God bless you, your family, and America. Yeah. Have you to do it? One family has done that, and they've done that pretty well. Please put your hands together for my class and his family.
such an opportunity. I was so used to the opera.
Oh, 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 oh.